cameras like here with RTV. We're in Ione, California at the 141st annual Ione Homecoming. It's Saturday, May 13th. The parade is about to start. We're going to go talk to some of the entrants, see who's going to be in the parade, and then we are going to film the parade and bring it right there to you on RTV Amateur. Here we found the class of 1967, is that correct? That's correct, Ion High School. Wow, and your name? Rhonda. Yeah, what, I see. I saw the shirts and I was like, this sure is a colorful group. Hey, this is this was the year of the love <laughs> thing. Right. I, 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 I couldn't have guessed by the, uh, the attire. That you <laughs> no, no. How, how many of you are uh, in your group here today? Uh, there's 22 from in our class. There was 20 in our class, and so we have about 14 that returned for our 50 year reunion. So we're just having a blast. Do a lot of you still keep in touch from? Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of us still. Here we go, class of uh, Ion High School, class of 67. Seven, yeah. We um, got together. We're do what do you ask me? I forgot. I'm old. That's part of that 67 thing. Yeah. Like, woohoo. Uh, do, do you guys still keep in touch uh, from yeah, 1967? Ion, we, the, lots of folks still live here in Ion, but we have some people we haven't seen for 50 years that we're so excited about. So. And they're here today? They're here today. And then we go to our alumni to dinner, dinner tonight okay. and get recognized for our 50 year graduation. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so exciting. And, yeah. and, and such a colorful float. Are you all going to ride in this uh, float yeah, here? We're riding in our float. We all put it together and okay. we're just having a great time. What was your mascot for the Ion High School in 67? Mustangs. Mustangs. So they were the original Mustangs then. The original Mustangs. Okay. Red, black, and white, baby. <laughs> Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. And we have found the Grand Marshal of the parade and her escort. And your name is? Andy Bonham. Andy Bonham. And the Grand Marshal, your name is? Evelyn Dubois Fairman. Evelyn, how long have you been here in the community? <laughs> 97 years. 97 years. Wow. Uh, w w w what does it feel like to be the Grand Marshal of the parade today? That's kind of a thrill. That's what I would I would say. I'm very honored to be asked to be the Grand Marshal. A very beautiful lady for 97 years old, I must say. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, sir, can you tell me what kind of car you're driving today? It's homemade. Uh, my shop teacher and I own, and a bunch of all the kids worked on it in high school. It was before recycling was. It's made of little everything. Yeah. So I've been coming to this uh, Ion Homecoming Parade for many years. The the name Bonham is a, a familiar name here in Ion, correct? Yes. I'm actually friends with Andrea Bonham. That's my daughter. That's your daughter. Okay. Wonderful lady. Um, there there seems to be some parade entries from some of the guys that uh, they seem to have a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's my brother and. Uh, I think Chucky is Chucky one of the names. Chucky Bonham. Yep. That's my youngest brother. Yeah, they uh, they seem to have a good time here in the Ion Parade. <laughs> so uh, driving the uh, the Grand Marshal here today in a uh, custom built. What what years was it? Was it sixty five? I think it was licensed. And is it a, a, like a replica of something? No, he just made it. They made a mold, made the front fenders out of fiberglass, and like the trunk, the corners are off of a stove. <laughs> and the, uh, the floorboard's a hot water tank flattened out. Like I said, it's just made a little of everything. Well, here with the uh, Mr. Bonham himself and the Grand Marshal of the parade. Have a great day, you two. Thank, Thank you. you very much. If you've seen the Ledger Dispatch or you've been on Facebook, you've seen photos by Mike. We have Mike here himself today. How you doing? Good, Kim. How you doing? Good. Uh, seeing some uh, front page action in the Ledger Dispatch with your photos. A little bit, yeah. yeah. So we were just talking, you work full time out of town. Yes. And yes, day, I do. When you have a day or two off, you're uh, out shooting the, uh, the Nikon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes I am. It's it's tiring. <laughs> Let me ask you this, with with all of the files and the amount of photos you shoot and the files of that size, how are you backing up all of these files? Uh, I, I put them on, I have like four external hard drives. I'm up to a four gig now, or four terabyte now, and yeah, it's get, it's about halfway full already. And I just started with it at the beginning of this year, I think it was. <laughs> do you have a, 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 per year, do you know how many photos you take, or do you, do you calculate that? or Not really. <laughs> too many? Too many to <laughs> count. So are you here shooting for the ledger today? Um, well, myself and whoever. Whoever needs them, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be, I've been out, I've already started out on the railroad. I went by the arena because I'll be shooting at the rodeo later and I'll be doing the 
the parade here shortly. So we, I've talked about with this with Mike. We're uh, both friends, photographers. Uh, because of the age you're at, for years to come, you're still going to be doing this. Oh, yeah. So there's you know there's a lot of photographers that are older than us, but you keep at it, and there's going to be that point in time where you're going to be that uh, the the seniority of the photographers here in the county. And I'm watching it happen, and I'm proud of it. All right, thank you. <laughs> Mike, good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Take care. Take care. Okay, and we found the one and only Andrea Bonham here in Ione at the parade. Andrea, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> Good. And tell us, what, what's the theme of the uh, of the homecoming this year? Circus extravaganza. And if Michael pans and, and takes a look at this, this looks like a, a circus extravaganza if I've ever seen one. Well, yeah. Here, I'm, I'm <laughs> giving you my face. Okay, perfect. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You have a couple of young uh, circus stars here, it looks like. Yeah, so what we did is the Pride of Ione and the Bonhams. So we've got Bonham and Benny Circus. And then we have a couple of kids that joined us from the um, Ione Elementary. They do a costume contest every Friday okay. of homecoming. So they all dressed up. And if they weren't in the parade, we invited them to come with us. So we have this great one, which is Kendra's, which is okay. fabulous, with Benny coming out of the cannon. Does the cannon actually fire? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> right. They wanted, they actually, they tried to make one big enough to put her in it, but they couldn't. <laughs> right, and okay. then her little sister. Uh, Callista, and then we have Morris is going to drive the little train car or the little clown car, and Mr. Gebhardt made that. Oh, perfect! So he was like the first mayor of my own, and everybody loves Mr. Gebhardt. Now, is, so. is there any chance that these uh, tigers are going to escape the cage here? Oh, this one's crabby. This one's really mad. Yeah, he looks like so he looks if, like if he's a little upset. Gonna make it. It's going to be that one. Okay, I, I really don't want to have to run from that guy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the other one's sweet. Okay, and, and you've got a. Who do we have here with the, the pink hair? No, I'm crazy. What, what's your name? Claudia. Claudia. Yeah. I, it, uh, how long did it take to get your hair like that? <laughs> actually, 20, actually, two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> okay. And is that a, a, a Pikachu on your uh, on your shirt? People still doing uh, Pokemon at your age? Yeah. Yeah. That was always good. My son was into that when he was younger, and he. Yeah, I missed that whole thing. <laughs> I only know like Pikachu. <laughs> and then we got two more. Here comes our ringmaster okay. and our acrobat. We pan to the right. And what are their names, Andrea? We have Lily DeWalt, who is our ringmaster lion tamer, and Riley Holmes, who's the acrobat, who's my niece. Okay. Uh, always fun to see the Bonham family involvement here in, oh, the, in the parade. Oh, there's more of them. <laughs> Dad's got the grand marshal, and I think Chuck and uh, Mike, I'm sure, are dressed as half-dressed women. And right. That, that's what I was. I was talking with uh, Phyllis, and yeah. I said, I said, you know, I. I I watch these bottom guys in the parade, and I think I would fit in with those. Hey, with, with put a girl. dress on and join them. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Never. <laughs> Andrea, thanks to talk for me. All right, good to see good you. Good to see you. Take, Take care. care. Cameras like with RTV in here with Fiddletown 4-H. Your name is? Uh, William Bach. William, and you are? Bryce Applegate. Bryce. Uh, how long have you been involved in Fiddletown 4-H? I think about four or five years. Okay. Now, uh, 4-H, these are, are these uh, little goats? What was the question again? <laughs> Are these little goats? A little, I wouldn't consider little. Okay, but they are goats? Yes, they are okay. goats. So they're large goats? Yes, they are large goats. <laughs> well, uh, tell me about the projects that you do in 4-H. We do art for our meetings and we talk about what are we going to do for a fair. Okay. And how to take care of our animals like pigs, goats, and horses, and all kinds of more stuff. Do you think the things that you're learning in 4-H are going to help you as an adult with your life experiences? Uh, yes. If we went to uh, horse shows, okay. we would know how to do some. Right, right. Yeah. And, and what about yourself? How long have you been in 4-H? Uh, this is my first year. First year? Do you think you're going to continue on in the next years? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like best about 4-H? Uh, just being with my friends. Right. Do you think you're learning things without even realizing it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What about these? What about the goats? Whose goats are these? I'm not sure. You're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're, they're they're sure cute. I know that. We've got some small ones here in a cage. What uh, are these? Are these small? Or are they? They are babies. They're yes. Babies. Yes. And is there a certain uh, is there a certain breed of goat that these are? I do not know. You do not know, but that's fine. Yeah. We saw somewhere around here was uh, Catherine. She didn't want to. Uh, she didn't want to talk to us. But Mike, you could probably pan around. We could find her somewhere with her mom, Deanna, because Catherine was in 4-H as a as a kid, and and she and she's. And, well, let's talk to mom real quick. Uh, oh, Cam! <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I usually don't hear that in the street, but. 
<laughs> so uh, you, you've been a, a 4-H mother yes, for some time, yes. Um, all three of my kids grew up in the 4-H program. Catherine is now aged out, so she is a co-leader for Fiddletown 4-H as well as the Amador County 4-H Council President. And I think Catherine would be a great example when I was just talking to these kids about learning for life experiences as an adult. I watched Catherine grow up raising animals, and, and it just uh, shows you a sense of leadership. Uh, she ran for Miss Amador. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's things that, that these kind of programs do wonders for kids. It does. My um, older niece over here, JC, that's super shy and won't talk to you, um, when she started in 4-H three years ago, she wouldn't make eye contact with anyone, and now she is competing in um, rabbit royalty contests, which requires her to give a live interview. So that's huge. Right, right. Well, Deanna, thanks for talking with us, and thanks for staying involved, uh, even though your daughter and your kids have grown up and they're out of the out of the program, but knowing the value that it brings to, to kids for their future, it's, it's just great that you're staying with it. Thanks. Thank you. We found Sheriff Martin Ryan uh, down on the corner, out in the street, right? Absolutely. <laughs> in beautiful Ione. Yes, yes. Uh, taking the day off today? Uh, Saturday so far. The phone hasn't <laughs> rung, so we're, we're all good right now. Yeah. Usually pretty safe on the streets here. I imagine we don't have much ruckus around the uh, Ione homecoming parade. You know, fortunately they have a really good Ione police department and takes care of all that stuff for us. So from the county perspective, we don't have to worry about it. So it's, it's great. You got yours, is that an Oakley hat you're wearing? It is an Oakley hat I'm wearing. Is that a golf hat? Absolutely. How's the golf game going? Uh, barely. <laughs> <laughs> not too often? Uh, not very often, and it's kind of all postage, no address kind of thing. You know, it's going a long way somewhere, but we just don't know where it's going. I found out that the high score didn't win, and then I was just done with the game, I think, after well, that. Well, that seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it looks like you're uh, uh, going to set up for another term to, for the sheriff? You know, I am. I, I got a lot of stuff on my plate that I want to see finished, and some new projects that we want to get started. and. Uh, there's a, this is not a really great time, given the attacks we're receiving from the legislature and things like that on law enforcement in general. Um, and I think I have something to bring to the table with regards to that right. position and that argument and, and uh, some connections I have in Sacramento that, that are helpful right. to try to work through some of these issues and some of the legislative problems that we're seeing. You're still kind of young, too. you still got some, some, some spunk left in you. Well, a little bit. You know, it's, it's, it's hard uh, keeping up with the, the young folks that we're hiring, but uh, they're, they're so much fun, and they're very excited to be there, uh, very smart, very professional, just love being at work, and, I, and that gives me, you know, some energy itself. It does kind of make me feel old to see some of the deputies and think, how, how that looks like a kid to me, right? I'm like, wait a minute, that, you know what that means. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I, I, do, I swear everybody in that comes in doing in the office, and, and you do a little bio on them and you talk about when they graduated from high school and I have to tell them on a regular occasion I have shoes older than you <laughs> you know so it, it's it's it, it is it's, it's one of those things but but the excitement and the smiles and you know they're just just excited as heck to, yeah. to be there you know and be able to do that job uh, real quick Daffodil Hill it was uh, yeah. open for a, uh, for a good amount of time this year uh, I think a total of about seven or eight days total but we, were, we had four then we had a week and a half off because uh, of rain and then we had one and we're off and then we had finished up with about three I think at the end and that's your family's ranch up there off of uh, a, a volcano it is it is uh, off of Shake Ridge right there and the, the top of Ramshorn grade and that property's been in the family since 1887 but opened the flowers since about 1940 so it's our generation my two brothers and I, it's our turn and our wives get the opportunity to come and join us with that experience <laughs> as well as well as some some friends that we convince it's fun to do. So <laughs> convince us. Yeah. We so we're uh, not a friends pretty quick. But right, right. Like it's, it's a turnover. It is. So speaking of turnover, you have to replant the bulbs every year? We add each year uh, to areas that maybe don't come up that well and so we try to keep it going we've been averaging about 16,000 bulbs a year uh, that we keep putting in the ground and the donations that people are generous enough with and the sales out of the sales booth go to pay for that help us pay for that perfect we go with sheriff martin ryan here on the streets of i own and uh, his lovely wife teresa's back here smiling and uh, she always has a smile on her face you must be a good man i i you, you may get a second opinion on that but <laughs> <laughs> now she's laughing <laughs> Martin, always good to talk to you. You too, Cam. Thank you. Take care. We found Darren Gibson of Gibson's Garage. Darren, how you doing this morning? Great. Yeah, you're uh, you're a, a frequent driver in the Destruction Derby. How many years? Uh, seven, I think, now this year. Seven. You pretty much drive the same car every year, right? Yes, yeah, same make and model, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do we have this year? It's a 77 Chrysler New Yorker. Okay. Uh, North State Auto Body did an amazing paint job on this. I have to say, this is probably one of the cleanest uh, overall cars I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I really like it. Um, yeah, they did a good job this year on it for me. Okay, two-tone paint. Uh, what do you run under the hood? It's just a Chrysler 360 with a 727 transmission. 
Looks like you're running a Chevy distributor. Yeah, Chevy distributor and a Chrysler, yes, to make it reliable. Yeah. Uh, looks like Who's your uh, little uh, crew chief in here? We got Camilla. She's going to ride in the car this year. Can you wave? Say hi to everybody, Camilla. <laughs> and we got Brody here and my little boy Brent. Okay. They're here to ride through the parade with us and have fun. Right, boys? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Where's, uh, where's Shannon? She's at a Boy Scout meeting. Oh, that's right. Yes, typical Boy Scout stuff. Uh, let's talk Gibson's Garage. Gibson's Garage, a big supporter of RTV. We appreciate that. Let's tell us uh, where your location is. Um, right there, Sutter Hill, behind the Shell gas station. Okay. Ridge and 49. Um, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. You uh, grew up here in the county. You've been involved in the automotive field since uh, we were teenagers. Uh, forever since I was 10, I think. I started cleaning parts for my uncle. Sure. Yeah, yep. It just stuck with you from then. Yeah, the whole family, I think. Uh, it, 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 not just domestic uh, cars, uh, foreign cars as well you work on? Yeah, I do a lot of imports. Um, some European, you know, not a lot, but some European cars too. Right. I, sh I did show up there with my uh, uh, Porsche one morning with the check engine light on, and uh, Darren just kind of laughed at me as he went around and tightened my gas cap. <laughs> it and, happens to everybody. <laughs> and my check engine light went off. <laughs> yep. So uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Sutter Hill, behind the Shell station. Yep. Yep. And uh, all makes and models, pretty much. Correct. Yes. Okay. From a simple oil change to an engine overhaul? Anything you need, yeah, for sure. What if somebody wanted you to build a derby car? No. <laughs> Me only. That's enough. That's the only thing he's not doing, not giving up his secrets. No. You're going to run, uh, you said maybe you're going to run Moonbash. Moonbash this year, yeah. I'm going to try to use a Crown Vic this year at Moonbash, try one of those cars. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we will see you at the uh, Amateur County Fair Destruction Derby. Look for car number 10, Gibson's Garage, North State Auto Body, Merzlach Signs, Gaskin Racing, Reby's Auto Parts, right? Yep. That's it. There you go. Thanks, Darren. Thank you. We found Fire Chief Ken Mackey, City of Ione. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Uh, here today uh, representing the uh, the Ione Fire Company. Yes, yes, we are. Uh, we're ready for the Ione Homecoming Parade. Who's, who's our Who's our pup here? This is Sparky, our fire prevention dog. We take him on all of our fire prevention activities at the schools, teaching the kids school sa uh, uh, home safety and fire safety in general. Sure, just a, so. a mascot like this uh, makes it uh, kind of like an icebreaker to reach out to the kids. Correct, correct. A lot of them uh, use the Dalmatians, and that's an icebreaker and the kids uh, relate to it a lot easier. Let's uh, talk, you have two stations located here in Ione? Correct. We have uh, Fire Station 1, which we're at right now, and Fire Station 2 on Preston Avenue. We have uh, 38 personnel on the department and 12 on our support service staff. And then we have a great youth cadet program. We have 12 kids in right now. So uh, it's a really active department. We're always going. Uh, are we able to ask how many calls a month you, you go on? We usually average about 90 calls a month uh, on an average. Uh, and we protect not only our city, but also outside the city and the county areas and basically anywhere the dispatch sends us to. Gotcha. Well, we want to thank you for your service. Okay. Looks like you've got the color guard here. Correct. This is our fire department honor guard team, and uh, we're proud to represent the city of Ione and our nation's flag and, and, uh, and, and, and just say thank you to all the veterans out there who served and protected our country. Absolutely. And we so. want to thank you once again on behalf okay. of RTV with the uh, city of Ione Fire Department, Fire Chief Ken Mackey. Thanks for talking thank with us. Thank you very much, Cam. Have a good day. You guys be safe. Hello and welcome to RTV's coverage of the 141st annual Ion Homecoming Parade. I'm Gavin Myers and with me is Cam Merzlach. Coming up first, we've got the Fire Department Honor Guard, which consists of Mike Flores, Matt Dolezal, Ken Mackey Jr., and Billy Pooh. And here's the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattling, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night. 
that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-fangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. This year's Grand Marshal for the parade is Evelyn Dubois Fairman. She was actually born right here in Amador County, January 6, 1920, and graduated from our very own Ion High School in 1938. I believe, Gavin, she's 97 years young. That is correct, and she still lives in her hometown in the house that her and her husband built in 1960. Up uh, next, City of Ion Fire, there's Chief Ken Mackey and Sparky, which is their uh, community outreach. Uh, mascot right for fire safety and they go to the schools talk to the kids about all the great ways that they can help out with fire safety in their community yeah and i tell you you, you know hats off from rtv to the uh, to the firemen uh, not just the city of ion but you know all of the firemen that are serving whether it be a city uh, district or a county district they um they put their lives on the line gavin for you and i to That's stay right. safe and they're out there working hard every year. You know, we've had a very heavy rain year, uh, going to be a lot of fire danger, and we're going to depend on these men and women to keep us safe. And, we'll, you know, we want to, you know, stress that the, the, the defensible space thing, you know, I live in the city, so it's not that big of a thing, but when we're talking out in rural areas, 100 feet of defensible space. Absolutely space. minimum. For. Here's Rescue 2 with City of Ione. Look at the kids in the back. They, you know, wave into the, to the, look at the smile. As we both know, it's always a great experience as a youngster getting to be involved in a parade, but especially with something like a fire truck, you know, I, I think it really helps to build our future firemen. Here's uh, Truck 6220. That's, uh, again, City of Ione Fire. Chief Ken Mackey once again. Uh, just, uh, you know, this, this is probably the fun for them. You know, they're, 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 they're putting their work and their lives on the line, and they get to come out once, uh, polish up their trucks, and, and, and come out and say hi to the community, and, and get thanks for, for uh, all of their service. Absolutely, and if you do see uh, one of our fine men and women of firefighting out there, be sure to thank them for all that they do. Right. And it's quite a display they have going on here today. Truck 6230 here, City of Ione. Looks like uh, some more kids riding in the back. You know, this is the day that they, they, they get to take their, their hats off and have fun. And, and hats off to you, uh, gentlemen and women that are out there serving us as firefighters. Let's see who's next here. Uh, truck 6231, City of Ione. Quite the display, like I said, that they're putting on uh, a great collection of automobiles and uh, tractors to come out and do what they need to do to keep us safe. Truck 6234, look at this, uh, City of Ione, you know, um, this is their hometown parade. They're gonna, uh, you know, enjoy themselves and, and bring the kids and, and come out and say hi. It looks like they've got a, a large uh, scale ladder rig here, 6280, Trucks, truck company is the, the, the Ione Fire Truck Company here. Absolutely. The, the big ladder is always important for the uh, taller buildings around. As you can see, it's surrounded by some. And up next, we have your uh, representing the Avenor County Board of Supervisors today as chairman of the board and District 2 Supervisor, Richard Forster, along with uh, Frank Axe, who uh, newly elected to District 3 upcountry in Avenor County. Never seen Frank in a cowboy hat before, but um, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Usually I've never seen Richard in a truck before. So. <laughs> And Bill LaValle, I've never seen him with a camera before. Right, right? it's a all before, never seen. So up next, we have Miss Iona and her court coming in, driven by Gary Thomas in a beautiful 1957 convertible Chevy. Chevy. Yes, yes. One of my favorite cars of all times. Our second runner-up runner is Marcella Hernandez, a junior from Argonaut High School. First runner-up is Brittany Hanna, also a junior from Argonaut. And Dylan Zagami is Miss Iona 2017, as well as Miss Congeniality. Uh, congratulations, ladies, and thanks for... Uh, putting in your time, and, and for the next year, they will represent uh, I own. Great job, ladies. Thank Beautiful you. smiles. I believe we went to uh, school with Marcella Hernandez's mother, Kim Merrill Hernandez. Oh, I wasn't aware. Okay, next up. up next, we've got a great float for the class of 67 from I own High School. It's their 50-year reunion float. And uh, being that this year's theme is the circus, uh, they made sure to get good and colorful. Of course, graduated during the summer of love. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's been quite a long, strange trip. Right, it, it is. And they, uh, the tie-dye's here. Class of 50-year reunion. 50 years. Wow. 
I don't know that we'll ever make that. It's Next, like a, a T-Bird coming up here. Gavin, that's tell right. Us about it's a it. 1961 original owned by Jennifer Zanetta, and she's actually only the second owner with less than 30,000 miles. Look at the black lab in the back with the horns. Uh, it's so, loving it. It loves the parade just as right. much as the kids. <laughs> right. he, said, what, <laughs> he says, hey, throw me some of that candy. <laughs> right. We got dog biscuits for you. Okay, the clampers, Gavin. Tell us about them. Well, the clampers are a local uh, community uh, operation. They, they help for putting up like roadside things. Uh, we got Matt Havens and Derek Walker walking the banner down. Uh, clampers do great things, not just have great parties. They ride segways. That's right. And speaking of segways, make sure you're not drinking and riding your trike out there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this little guy doing a wheelie. That's a future clamper, ladies and gentlemen, with the, uh, hey, they got the sunblock on him, they got the hat covering him. He's doing good. Right. Most important, or you end up looking like me. <laughs> Old leather with freckles on it. <laughs> Gavin, always fun to have you here at the Ion Parade. Uh, Injury number seven, what do we have here? Always a great time. Up next, we have a, a 1930 Model A Sport Coupe with rumble seat, driven by third generation owner Nancy Mulford of Ione. Okay, looks like a clean old car. Yeah, her Throwing candy to the kids. Look at the kids. After that candy. Absolutely, I remember as a kid always chasing it down. So up next, we got the Big Top Family Circus okay, coming down, and uh, they bring friends and family together just like a circus. You can go to FamilySearch.org and find out what they got going on. Oh. Yeah, look at that. They're having, having a good time out here. It looks like we're, uh, I wonder what they are. They, they're, they're just, uh, oh, the girl's going to do a cartwheel. Look at this. She's on it, and it looks like the uh, guy from Monopoly is in the back of the truck, but that's actually the ringmaster for the Big Top Family Circus. Okay, so this is all the same uh, the entry, then. Okay, and he's waving to the people. Look at anything about a plate. Uh, who's in your family? Oh, this is the family reunion here. Look at the kids just having fun. They're throwing the candy. They're wishing they were eating it themselves, but they probably have a, a secret stash, if you will. Absolutely. Okay, I'll mount it on the horses. What do we got? Up next, we've got a parade horses with Mel Lundgren. Okay. Uh, some beautiful horses making their way down the street. And that's one thing you always see out here in Amador County is, is a lot of beautiful, beautiful horses come through, uh, well-behaved, well-taken care of, and well-loved. Right, and we're down here in uh, District 2 of the county, I own. You know, you get a lot of ranchers and a lot of uh, conservative-minded folks, you know, here. What do we have here, Gavin? It's a John Deere tractor, a little boy selling po or passing out popcorn. And I believe that's uh, uh, I own and I, yes, I own feed and ranch, ranch supply. He's yes. a new business there in I own. They, yeah. they just recently opened. Uh, they're right there behind Jalapeno Hots. Right behind Jalapeno Hots, and they're available for all your feed and ranch needs. Okay, and uh, I, I believe it's like uh, Michelle Lundy, I believe is the... Her and her husband. That's correct. They they carry all sorts of products. Nu Neutrina, Bar Ale, Ariat, Wolverine, Tartar, Cactus Ropes, Professional Choice, Montana Silversmiths, all sorts of things. Go in and check them out at Ion Feed and Ranch Supply right there in Ion. Perfect. Behind Jalapenos. Good stuff here. And it looks like uh, just sneaking ahead a little bit, the Fiddletown 4-H is coming up. That's and they right. Had some, uh, they had some goats, and we're going to we'll get to them here shortly. And Ion uh, Feed, they got a, that guy's got a whip. He's got a whip. Watch out, kids. You don't want to be hit. I own. I own 4-H Parade. We've got J.C. Bell, Kaya Bell, William Baugh, and Bryce Applegate representing Fiddletown 4-H. Well, I saw Catherine there. Catherine That's Stiltz. right. Catherine Stilts is the 4-H Council President. Yes, and, and she was. Uh, she grew up, and this is uh, Dolores, I believe, coming up. That's right. It's a mother-daughter team. Uh, Forty years ago, they rode in the I own Homecoming Parade as matched pairs. Okay, and Dolores has been in, uh, I think, uh, uh, 71 I own homecoming parade. Wow, it's her 71st. That's amazing. That's about half of them. Great. And coming up next, we've got a, 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 a carriage here drawn right, right to by the draft horses. Right, by the Ponty Hay Company is who sponsored this. Uh, Jamie and Dennis Ponty. Okay. And uh, this is a beautiful carriage they have here. Not to mention the horses are in great condition. Looks like we got the Wells Fargo stagecoach coming up. It's uh, entry number... Uh, well, I I'm guessing there. 18. Okay. Uh, no, that's Abby and Greta. This is the eight seconds. Okay, up next, it looks like we've got uh, Abby and Greta Thomas gather their circus animals together. Ringmaster Abby is in the sixth grade at Ion Junior High, and will keep the, Ion, the wild animals in line while her sister Greta, who's a kindergartner, will walk the tightrope. So much fun to be uh, going, growing up in Ion, being a part of the parade, and, and seeing your family and your friends out there uh, cheering you on. And it's just a great thing happening. What do we have next, Gavin? Up next is the san second annual ball drop. It will take place today immediately following the candy drop okay. at the 4-H 
and I own fifth grade science camp are marching and selling tickets for their organizations. The donation is twenty dollars per ball, six for hundred dollars, and you have a chance to win fifty thousand dollars. Our TV was out at Howard Park. We did film the uh, the candy drop. The planes came over and and, and uh, dropped some of those. But look at this horse, just uh, all the you know color. It's, it's like a parade is a colorful event. It is you well decorated and well behaved. Um, it's always a joy to see such such a display of diversity. Yes, yes, yes. And this is the uh, 4-H club of, oh, it's, it's tough to see on their shirts, but we, uh, we, uh, we, we talked to some of the 4-Hers before the parade. I believe this is uh, Ethel the Wonder Cow coming up next. This is Ethel the Wonder Cow for the Ion Rotary Cow Bingo. And you know how this works. They lay out a grid. Uh, Ethel goes out there after uh, a hearty breakfast. Correct. And decides to... Uh, and if she do drops a deuce on your number, right, you could double your money. Deuce in the house, yes. So say she's, uh, they're going to stir up her stomach, uh, maybe take her on a, a couple of turns. Maybe a nice handful of X-lax. Handful of X-lax. Then they would have multiple winners, I think. Right, right. So, yeah, we're not going to look for the, uh, the fecal fountain, but we're, uh, hopefully she <laughs> lands on your spot. I That's bought a $20 right. ticket from uh, Supervisor Forrester from Ethel the Wonder Cow there from Iron Rotary. What do we have next, Kevin? Up next we have Mabel's family. Uh, maybe not. Right, uh, looks like uh, 22. 22 is Clinton Grange. It's a newly founded Grange charter with a focus on community service and youth livestock programs. Okay. And they're hoping that everyone's having a great time out here at the parade and as you can see by the, the people, the kids smiling, throwing plenty of candy out. They are. That it's a great time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, a lot of, lot of you know, people are really enjoy, enjoying this parade here today. We're happy to see that. A lot of people, that, uh, Benny the Bedbug here. That's, uh, Benny the, the, the Bedbug made a showing and right there with his friend, the Mini Pincher. <laughs> is that what that is? Well, it looks like it or some sort of cross, but it right. looks kind of nervous. Clinton Grange, ladies and gentlemen, Argonaut High School Marching Band. That's right. They'll be performing The Man on the Flying Trapeze. A circus classic published back in 1867. Gavin, sometimes I feel like we're from the circus. I feel like it too. I, I, and just behind them, we should be seeing Argonaut High School Drumline, and there they are. They're the heartbeat of the band. Right. Without oh. the beating of their drums. Look, next, band, Daddy Issues say? Clothing, uh, Rachel Andrews, proprietor. That's right. Also the owner of Expression Salon down there in Ione. Right on the corner there. Here she comes in her little uh, wrapped uh, beetle for Daddy Issues Clothing Company. Uh, DaddyIssuesClothing.com. And there she is in driving the car. Absolutely. And they do they do uh, all sorts of clothing, uh, specializing in, in fashionable and sexy clothing for plus-size women. Right. And there's, uh, speaking of plus-size women, uh, sexy uh, Kelly Corsoletti. And 25. Daddy Issues Clothing Company. Now, don't forget that it is a circus type theme today. So let's see what Rachel has planned for us. Right. If you know Rachel Andrews, she's up to, oh, here, without further ado. We knew what, something was going to happen. What do we have here? Uh, that looks like some of her lovely clothing. Right. Rachel's in a black dress. Looks like Kelly Corsoletti. Uh, let's see here. And a magic trick. Oh! Let's go change -o. <laughs> Here yeah. we are. Look at it. I believe uh, uh, Rachel may have been the uh, uh, Miss Ione at one time. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Now, how do they fit all these girls into this beetle? It's like a clown car, but with women. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, and, and they, somehow they're going to stuff uh, not just pizzas. They're going to they're going to stuff themselves back into this car. How will they fit all those red noses back in there? <laughs> right, just like the world that. may never know. Right, uh, good job, Rachel. All right, up, up next. next, go ahead. The star dancers. That's right. They teach ballet, acrobatics, jazz, along with hip hop, classical ballet, and contemporary. It uh, looks like a, a wide variety of ages here, of, of uh, girls here. Absolutely, and they even offer a summer dance camp from June 20th to August 2nd for ages 5 and up. So you can get those kids out there, give them something to do rather than just sit around on their computer. I believe they're located in Sutter Creek.
friend Jolie uh, Conkling here in the back here. And I believe she's been with the uh, Star Dancers for a while. And I love the variety of ages. You know, these girls and boys look like they're having a great time out there. And dance is a great way to stay fit and uh, do that 60 minutes of exercise a day. And how adorable are these girls anyway? Right. And I, you know, I, you know I, my heart goes out to the, the, the little small ones that are just learning. You know, it's great to see the, the girls that have been there through the years with the, uh, with, you know, the experience and the talent. But when you get, uh, I mean, how, how old do we think this uh, little girl is here? Maybe three. Is that one there? The, two. The, the little fuzzy three. legs. She's up. Yeah. Right. She's like, got to be two. Right. Just adorable. And they love it. They get out there and they dance and they do the parade. And it's a great experience. They'll remember the rest of their lives. Right. Future stars of America. Dance, uh, what is it? Uh, star dancers. From star Sutter dancers. Creek. Located right there uh, just outside of uh, Sutter Creek by the post office. Correct. Nice job, girls. Up next, we've got Jay Griffith's 1950 John Deere Model B and 1963 Alice Chalmers Model B10. Yeah, looks like the Chalmer here in the front. Uh, <laughs> good old boy driving that. Uh, looks like he's put a, an hour or two in, in on the tractor before, you think? I'm, yeah. I'm certain on, on, the, on the remake of that tractor and in the field on that tractor. That young man, both of those tractors have seen their time in the fields, I'm guessing. Look at the clutch on this old John Deere here. Oh, yeah. Keep that tractor rolling, old boy. Yeah, yeah. How'd he do? This next entry is the MT19 Fairmont motor car. And it's brought to you today by the Amador Central Railroad. This car owned by Ward Allen. And what they do is they take you out on rides on the existing past railroads around Amador County. Right, and they, they actually bring you from Ione up to the, uh, the big man on Lower Ridge Road. And uh, we don't hate to cut them off short, but entry 29 is the Herald Fire Protection District. These guys are just down the road towards Rancho Seco and always there to lend a hand right when Amador County needs them. They're our neighbors. I guarantee if we got a call on Ione, they need to be, they need to respond. These boys are going to be there for us. Absolutely. Thank you, Harold. Okay, uh, we got the carriage here coming up. That's right. That's uh, Main Street Theater Works. Uh, they put on all sorts of great uh, plays at the Kennedy Mine Amphitheater. Right off of Jackson Gate Road. Right, and I've seen quite a few shows there. Always well done, good production, great uh, casting, and a good time. Hats off to Mike Phelan, uh, one of our buddies there. Next up, we have uh, entry 31, the Native Sons of the Golden West, I own parlor number 33. Looks like some uh, grandpas, but we'll call them sons. But yeah, there we go. I own uh, California, I own 33. That's right. Uh, it was founded in 1875 to pre preserve the spirit uh, of 18. Yeah, but I'm not sure what this is. It looks like buckwheat. Now, I was told that there was an anonymous entry into the parade. This looks like it may be it. Um, looks like we have a presidential candidate and a uh, former president. A couple of presidents. Accompanied by the current president. Right. He, uh, he looks like he did way too much spray paint. There's a there's, chance. There's a chance. And, and this is uh, the old Secretary of Defense, was she maybe? Correct. And ever since ever since uh, she Ooh, lost yeah. the election, it looks like she took up cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, so it's not buckwheat. It's actually uh, 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 Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and uh, the Don. The Don. The Donald. The real. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Uh, he, she needs to maybe... I'm surprised that thing isn't sunburned yet. Right. I think the best looking one is the dog. Well, we know that nothing below the waistline is getting sunburned because it's shaded. <laughs> it looks like, the, you know, obviously this is a conservative uh, 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 minded uh, entry. They've got uh, Hillary and uh, Barack Obama in handcuffs. Uh, you know, they're, they're welcome to, to uh, believe their own thing there. And uh, apparently uh, they're gone. I know who that is. Number one um, stud muffin, Amateur County. Number one stud muffin. He is the lion. He, uh, right. The lion sleeps tonight. Right. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. There he was. This is the. What tell us who this is? Yeah, this is still the same entry. Still the uh, anonymous entry. This has the 32 on it. Oh, it has a 32. Oh, I don't get, have a number 32 look at actually. Throw the black. Get down with yourself. <laughs> look at this. I, I see Phyllis Smith coming in here. 
Look at that. Honk. Look at all those honkies. Right, they're honking the horns. Uh, Another great it. circus entry. Right. Look like they're having a grand old time. They are. Right here there's in Phyllis. Iowa, California. Phyllis I Smith. see Phyllis. Hey, that's uh, Sheriff Martin Next Martin up, we've got our very own Amador County Sheriff Martin Ryan in his beautiful 1956 Buick Roadmaster. I have to tell you, this man is lucky to have Teresa as his wife. Look at this. It's always smiling, always waving. Absolutely. Well, you know what? And, and actually, my mother, Sharon Merzlach, she has a, you know, she's one of the many women that have a crush on Martin Ryan. And how could you not? He's a great man, and I'm glad to have him as our sheriff. Hey, kids, RTV. Hey, kids. Peace. Peace out. Right. See? Everybody's having a good time. Coming up next, we've got a beautiful 1970 GMC pickup that was actually bought at the end of Main Street here in Ione. Oh, what was, do we know what it was called? Uh, it was called... Where was the truck Jack first? Watson of Ione? No, no, That's sorry. No, we're, we're, we're trying to keep up. We're, we're doing trying to keep up. Sorry yeah, about that, but it was bought. I can tell you, we've done a very good job. There's some more patriotic uh, people here in the parade, and entry 35. Some of the some of the entries we don't actually don't have a information uh, sheet information on. sheet on. But uh, here's a, 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 a I'm guessing a 91 Dodge with uh, umbrellas over the headlights. Right, keep them from getting sunburned. Right, that's almost like uh, kind of wearing a bra in a way. Right. So what do we have here? We've got uh, a some sheep with sunglasses. Okay, a ninja so turtle. Interesting animals and a, a palm tree that's seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> and a shark. Right. Hey, maybe it's, it's palm, Jaws. Maybe it's Palm Sunday. Jaws. Oh, Peter, that's a dolphin. Pe Never mind. Pe uh, I was going to say, Peter Brangeling? Is that who uh, wrote that? Great. Hey, okay, up Benny, next. Ben, Benny Bedbug. Uh, Bonham, uh, Bonham and Bears Circus, it looks like. Kind of tough for us to see from the uh, announcing stand. But, uh, Another great entry for the Ion Homecoming. Fantastic, and you know the kids love a train uh, all the time. And this guy loves running a train, for sure. It, Absolutely. It, it, here we have the tigers and lions. And elephants. And elephants. Oh Elephantitis. My. Here's this, uh, the- How brave is Benny Bedbug sitting in there with that lion? What? With a flaming loop. Look at the, uh oh, what's gonna shoot out of the cannon? Oh, uh, Benny the Bedbug is now a cannon launch. Cannon. It, it, a little ollie there going on. Right. And Kids with whips and chains. And here's the hula hoop. And uh, Bill the Valley, you know, he'd be a part of that too. So around the neck, though. Right. Is that, is that called necking? I don't know. Rubber necking. Rubber necking. Okay. And, and in the card here, we, uh, actually, the amazing thing is when this kid stands up, 43 firemen jump out of the car. <laughs> hey, Colin Frost. Hey, we got Colin Frost, who's with the uh, Historical Railroad. That's right, That's Amador Historical Railroad. Uh, they do a great job at preserving the history of Amador's railroads, right? I, which I, is a rich one, right? And I, I know they were when they when they uh, right there below Meeks when they or by Meeks when they closed off or went over that. That was a Absolutely. bad thing. But here's Darren Gibson, car number ten for the Amador County Destruction Derby, Amador County Fair coming the July 27th through 30th in Plymouth, California. Uh, Darren Gibson, what a guy! Uh, gave a, a lot of money to the autism group for years, and next Absolutely. up is Seth Sievers. Another Seth, great donator of money. Right, secondgenerationdinner.com. You can buy tickets to win this car that was built by Chris Gaskin, who's the number one derby driver, builder in California. Uh, looks like uh, $20 each, six for 100 uh, the third Saturday in June. Uh, speaking of Seth and Chris, right there, boys, yeah, yeah. Uh, not only do you get the car to drive, but it comes with a pit crew also. All you gotta do is get in, hit the throttle, and hit a car. Here's a sign that was donated by Merzlach Science. Second generation dinner and auction. Sorry, fourth Saturday in June. Amateur County Fairgrounds, secondgenerationdinner.com. You've got a chance to drive a Chris Gaskin built derby car. Up next, we got Dan Fornacari, Fornaciari, 1941 John Deere model LA. Yes. This tractor actually came from a dairy in Wisconsin where it spent many, many years in service. Did they fly it and it had dairy air? Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Check it. I like watching the clutches on these, too. These kind of cool. And, and the guys that are operating them, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, you can tell they've, it's not their first run on a tractor. What well, we have is another uh, John Deere, it looks like. Looks the like green, another John Deere. The green and yellow might, might have uh, fooled me. I wonder why they have the, the tires towed in like that. I think that, that has something to do with the, the groove in the in the field oh. so that they're not crushing their, their planting rows. Yeah, when, I, you, when it comes to old farm stuff, I can always count on you. Sheep. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> I, I count look. sheep to sleep. Sheep, right. Little Bo Peep has lost her hashtag. Right. Uh, case. Uh, that's, a, that's a case tractor. That is. He is on the case. Right. Oh, and more kids just enjoying the parade. These kids just absolutely love it. And what weather today 
I mean, it is beautiful out here. Yes, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, what is it, 68 degrees maybe, you know? Just perfect, not too hot, not too cold. Here's another old John Deere. I like, I like the rust. I have to say, I like it. I like when it looks old. It is old. I'm with you, know, you on that. Yeah, you know, I like I like some of the, the restored tractors and things and vehicles, but right here is, is one that you can tell is uh, put in its service. Stand of the test of time, if you will. And I can tell you, a tractor you bought today, you're not going to see it 60, 70 years right. down the road right. doing anything. And it's not going to be interesting in a parade either. Exactly. Okay, what do we have here? This is a uh, Macy? Massey? Looks like a Massey, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, Another beautiful older tractor. Got some Firestone tires on it. Yes, sir. From when fire was just invented. So I think what they do is they, they uh, do a gear reduction system and, and, and the motor spins and the, the tires use a lot of the, the energy from the motor and it's not a one-to-one -one thing. And that's how they end up being able to use not so much power to pull so much. Amazing amounts. Right, right, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's, it's, you know, kind of like a gear reduction. Sure, sure. I'm not a farmer. But you are a gearhead. A little bit of, here's an old guy right here. Now there's a rustic looking piece. Plenty of patina on that one. Right. And look at this. What? A, look at this little lady on her. Is that a tractor or a lawnmower? Right. Well, I'll tell you what. She's telling you to knock the boys, just drive them. Right. She says, not on my lever. Looks like she was being <laughs> towed there by the car in front of her. Right. Her tractor in front of her. Excuse me. Okay. We've got quite the lineup of tractors coming. This looks like an old boy here. Well, we are in Iona, a conservative uh, community. This guy's got to be careful his beard doesn't get caught in the tires. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Gavin. Thanks for an uncomfortable parade. <laughs> right. right, and here's a... Uh, his did last year, so he, right. he cut it off. Uh, Ferguson. Ferguson. Right, yeah. It's hard for us to ring. Good thing you brought the binoculars. Oh, and then, of right. course, the, uh, you know, the kids. The John Deere candy delivery special. <laughs> right. Buckets full of candy for all the smiling children. Right, and that's a uh, probably a battery-powered, but a little girl that's definitely enjoying her... Or time. Oh, here you go. Bring, bring the little, bring the little, uh, little girl out for a tractor ride. You got your future farmer right there of America. Uh, yep. Yeah, here you go. Now I'm gonna oh, throw no. it like a can. <laughs> oh no! Right. Just stand the only up. time you don't have to be 16 to drive on the, you know, right. uh, great for I own to bring up a, a family uh, event like. Don't this. let Tracy Busby see that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we kid with Tracy. We do, uh, we do science for Tracy. Here now. Great this, guy. I'd love to see him. I'm not gonna make the Charles down there. I'm not gonna make the donut joke. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this guy's doing it. Right. He's doing donuts. But nothing to do with the previous subject. He also likes them. <laughs> oh, and you know, hey, it's you know, Gavin Myers is a comedian. We will um, uh, apparently go there. <laughs> Uh, John Deere seems to be the popular. Uh, uh, Robert Gibbs, I believe, here went to Argonaut High School in the uh, 90s. Him. Look at that. He, he, uh, he, he doesn't seem too uh, happy to be on camera, but guess what? We know you. We got your name and we got you. Well, Gavin, I want to thank you for uh, coming down and uh, announcing the 141st Ion Homecoming Parade with us for RTV. Always a great time. Enjoy being out here, and it's always a great time for everybody who joins us. Right, and you can see the, the streets just were filled with people, and uh, everybody had, had a really good time, and everybody enjoyed, I believe, all the entries here in the in the parade today. At least up to 81%. <laughs> 81%. <laughs> So we'll see you at number 142. <laughs> Thanks for watching RTV Amador.